picture this. It's the year 2015. Boy, were times different then. The trailer for this new game called Hatred just came out and the entire video game industry won't shut up about it. The trailer shows Cannibal Corpse's former guitarist, oops, I mean unnamed antagonist, getting a whole bunch of weapons ready and monologuing about how much he hates humanity. There's some words I want to avoid saying for uh, obvious reasons, but in case if you couldn't piece it together on your own, this game you play as a... But all jokes aside, this is clearly shockvertising. They made a purposefully really violent video game over a really taboo and sensitive real subject, knowing that it would create a whole bunch of controversy within the video game sphere, and then that would boil over and make the news talk about it. And then mommy bloggers would talk about how worrying and troublesome and violent video games are, and boom, a whole bunch of free press happens. <laughs> I just can't believe this is the stuff they're doing nowadays. But despite Hatred's shocking nature and backlash it inevitably got, there is still a huge amount of support for this game, and it's currently still sitting as having very positive reviews on Steam. And I personally find this interesting, uh, Hatred is the only video game rated adults only by the ESRB that doesn't have any sexual content in it. Meaning that it got the adults only rating for violence and language alone, despite the language not being any worse than a group of middle schoolers overusing the word fuck, and the violence is not much worse than like, any horror video game. Meaning that this game got a super harsh rating based off of the theme of the game and not necessarily its contents. The company that made it, Destructive Creations, said that they wanted this game to be about pure gaming pleasure and that it wanted to be against trends. Which is ironic considering I literally can't picture a more overdone trend in this country than uh, mass shootings, but you know, whatever. Don't get me wrong though, I love edgy bullshit just as much as the next guy, but to try and pass off blatant shock advertising as like a bold creative gameplay decision is fucking stupid, uh, like, we know what you were doing, it's really obvious. But despite that being pretty reasonable criticism in my opinion, I'm still a big fan of top-down shooters and isometric perspective shooters. I think that they're really interesting and have a lot of potential to be fun. And you gotta admit, the premise of being the villain and your only goal is to just kill everyone on planet Earth is kind of an interesting gameplay idea. So this game is somehow both right up my alley and the kind of over-the-top shock content that I think is really tacky and tasteless. And despite the subject nature being pretty objectively fucked, uh, who knows, you know, we've all run over a pedestrian in Grand Theft Auto and thought that shit was hilarious, don't pretend you haven't. And Grand Theft Auto also received a bunch of criticism that I think we can all agree in hindsight was pretty overkill. Since the reviews for controversial games like this are usually completely split as either being the best game ever or the worst game ever, who knows, you know, there's only one way to find out, and that's to play it. So that's what I'm gonna do, let's go. All right, so, Hatred, let's see what this is about. My PC is already uh, way louder than it was 30 seconds ago, so that's a good sign. Perform executions on people in agony to replenish your- Boy, what a fun game this is already. This game just feels slightly clunky. He literally specifically asked you not to kill him. This dude definitely says, like, brother a lot, you know what I mean? Yo, facts. No caps. No life is worth saving. Oh, this dude definitely says, like, no lives matter and, like, thinks he's really cool for it. My least favorite kind of person. POV, you're a cop. Uh, non-violently de-escalating a situation. I don't get what's so, like, offensive about this game. This is basically just what it's like just walking around in America. Ravage the market? <gasps> Ooh! Oh my god! Oh, this is horrible! This is- what? Well, okay, this is kind of fucked up. Video games do not cause violence, but it's times like this where I kind of- I kind of get that mentality a little bit. Yeah, that was a nice shot, bud. Imagine someone kills you and then just spins around on top of you. The ultimate disrespect. Where's the- what's the point? Where am I going, also, by the way? Oh, this is a good game. This is good AI. This is fine. Okay, so not only is this game, like, really not, like, that bad, but also, it's kind of boring, and it, I don't even feel like it deserves not just the controversy, but more so just, like, the adults-only title, either, because this is kind of, like, not a big deal. Just in general. I'm not even killing any of you. I just want to finish the level. Which I don't feel like says a, a lot of good stuff for the game if I'm like, eh, fuck playing it. Can I end it? <laughs> that man was sitting on air. I feel like there's a very specific kind of metal guy that likes this type of shit. You know that guy in your local death metal scene who's like pretty much an elitist despite only listening to bands that are like mayhem and cannibal corpse and never goes to like any sort of local show or anything like that and like kind of a cunt has hair that's like slightly not maintained like at all ever and also just has like 
really questionable views. I know that's a very long explanation, but I feel like we all know the type of guy I'm talking about. <laughs> Cleanse the police station, Jesus. That sounds like, that's a good band name. I like, I really like the idea of playing as the villain, but I don't know, it's like, it's mostly fun if you're like a demon or, or like a monster or something, but like a shooter, like a real thing that's horrible and tragic, it's a lot less like, woo, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's, yeah, run towards me. I don't know if I'm just stupid or if this game is actually really not well structured and a little aimless. I will say I really like the, the color palette. I really like the black and white, but just like the pops of red and blue. I will say this is kind of fun. It's not, it's not the worst. It doesn't feel too depraved. Oh, all right, that was good. I am very jealous of his hair physics, so I wish my hair did that. There's also a survival mode. I don't know what that's about. Taxes are involved though. That sounds fun. Ca There's different characters. Okay, hold on. Psycho Cop, that name is a little redundant. This dude with the cool ass tattoos and Overwatch. All right, cool. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pretty lady. Oh, the cops are already here. All right, well. Not anymore. Okay, well, this is fun. So it's just a free for all, I imagine, through the, door through the window through the wall my bullets will kill you all oh i'm a rapper i get it i'm cool kick yeah <laughs> okay what is this what's that dude crumping what what the fuck was that all right night night buddy hey where are you going oh no am i gonna die no fuck no don't crouch 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 that's a person crouch is from harry potter I don't know. Oh, okay, well, you know, you win some, you lose some. Serial suicide. Oh, that's... What a cheerful achievement I unlocked. That's cool. Let's kick him! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Hi, sorry to interrupt. Since the gameplay is a little one-note and repetitive, I figure I might do something different. Since the response to this game was pretty polarizing when it came out, I figured it might be kind of fun to take a look at some Google reviews since they're, uh, they're pretty split. Why Google reviews, you may ask? Why not a better site, a more reputable site? Well, that's because, uh, the reviews on Google are all entirely by insane people, so I figure that would be kind of fun. I haven't played it, but I think it's cool. Six people found that helpful. You know what? Yeah, that is helpful. <laughs> five out of five stars. I love the killing in this game. All right. Well, you could have said it a little bit less watch listy, uh, Dormammu. What is it? This person rated zero stars and said, this is the greatest thing I've ever played. That's a little contradictory. Jordan says five stars. It's a bit cronky. Ethan G writes, hello, my children. I'm a Christian pastor and I would love to thank the developers of this game for creating such a good, wholesome, and fun Christian game. All right, cool. This dude's being sarcastic. Cool. I plan on playing this game in front of our entire congregation this Sunday morning. May God be with you, my lambs. Pastor Ethan motherfucking G. All right, cool. Cool, a little joke. Surely that won't fly over some people's heads. Obviously not Christian. For all the Christians out there, what were you thinking when you bought this game? Did you think that it would be about a guy who hates but then butterflies and rainbows make him love the world? No, it's about a demon or regular dude? Can't decide. Who essentially goes on a Thanos mission to cleanse the world. What a weirdly childish way to describe genocide. Marvel fans, when they see genocide, be like, oh, just like Thanos! All right, cool. So there's a few fucking idiots in this thread. I'm not surprised, but uh, let's continue scrolling. Ooh, got another fucking genius over here. Of course this game isn't Christian. Wow, you guys are really smart at piecing that together. One star, not Christian, like hate it. I wonder if this game's Christian. I'm getting a lot of conflicting messages. One star, this is why people blame gun violence on video games. Actually, people blame gun violence on video games, uh, primarily the politicians, because they're paid off by the NRA, and that's real. You could look it up. One star, bam! Bad, inappropriate. All right, so as we can see, very balanced reviews, absolutely just not two complete polar opposites of each other, uh, very helpful. All right, back to the game, woo. This is kind of cool art though. I like that, I like that, that looks cool. That could be like a waking the cadaver thing back in that era, I don't know. There's a sewer level in the, in the genocide game? Jesus, is there a fucking like, Ice level? <laughs> this game's too easy. Let's do insane. I'm sure I won't regret this decision. Yeah. This is exciting gameplay. Oh, you could just execute just a homeless man sleeping? This game is really not that fucked up. There's something about this, uh, 
uh, genuinely, it sort of doesn't feel great. I'm not going to lie to you. Let the homeless do sleep, bro. Find a way out of the sewers. My brother in Christ, you went into the sewers. Yeah, that's good. That's good visibility. Oh, great. Fuck off. Oh my god, I can't see any of you. Oh, yeah, guys, clump together like that. That's good. That's good training. This game is a maze, but it's not fun to go through this maze. Oh, they have, like, normal cop dialogue. Fuck you! It's- I can't see anything! Yeah, I think I've had enough of that. This game that's somehow all about violence is not violent enough to be particularly interesting or entertaining. The gameplay is extremely one note. I like the color palette, but the color palette combined with, like, all the reused assets makes everything feel identical. There are some times where you can't fucking see. Like, overall, I think this game's fine. Like, it's not- amazing uh it's not terrible either i found myself having fun at moments but i also found myself getting bored with it uh pretty immediately it's kind of mean but i kind of understand why this game like had a lot of hype around it after the trailer but when it actually came out you like didn't see anything or hear anything of it ever again besides like i think like pewdiepie played it well thanks for watching this like american walking simulator tune in next week where i play the the uk walking simulator is that a funny joke so yeah that was hatred Let's exit. Oh, and he kills you when you exit. That's adorable, actually. By the way, I would have streamed this on my Twitch live, um, but I believe the game is banned on Twitch for, uh, you know, obvious reasons. Do this bullshit, but more importantly, if you want to, like, share it, that would be, that'd be the biggest help, actually. Anyways, bye. Thanks for watching. Love you. Mwah. All right, bye. Calm down, everyone. I am a good guy with a gun. I'm just not a great guy with a gun.